What is up guys, Dr. Sammy here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the differences between some of the best mouthwashes in the market. So today I'm gonna to be giving a lot of information about the different uses and ingredients in some of the most popular mouthwashes out there. And there are so many different products out there that it can be really confusing to figure out which one works best for you. I think the best way to break this down is to have a conversation about freshening your breath, eliminating gum disease, and preventing cavities. And later in the video, we will have a conversation about specialty mouth rinses and the difference between alcoholic and non-alcoholic mouthwashes. So let's start with breath. A lot of my friends use mouthwash because they crave that minty, fresh breath. I can't tell you how many times I've seen my friends pound back shots of Listerine before going out. And a lot of commercials out there give the illusion that simply using mouthwash will instantaneously cure bad breath. But that's simply not true. The ultimate source of bad breath comes from odor emitting bacteria from the breakdown of food. And the easiest way to clean that is to simply brush your teeth morning and night. So then you may be thinking, when do I use mouthwash? Well, some mouthwashes can help with gum disease. Antibacterial mouthwashes have ingredients like CPC, which can help significantly reduce gingival inflammation. A lot of the mouthwashes out there that have the antiseptic or antibacterial labels have properties that reduce bacteria in your mouth. Now, if your gum disease is severe, your dentist may prescribe chlorhexidine, which can have even more powerful properties than the over-the-counter mouthwashes. Definitely take some time to ask your dentist which product applies to you. So what about mouthwashes that protect our teeth? Well, that's where fluoride comes in. Fluoride is in essence a mineral that helps reduce the formation of cavities. So it would make sense that mouthwashes with a high concentration of fluoride would help strengthen your teeth over time. And remember, the best time to use this type of mouthwash is in between brushing sessions. Your toothpaste has such a high amount of fluoride in it that you don't need to use the mouthwash immediately after brushing your teeth. Rather, it's meant to be used if you don't have access to a toothbrush or toothpaste, or if you wanna freshen up in the middle of the day or before going out at night. One last thing needs to be said about alcoholic versus non-alcoholic mouthwashes. Alcoholic mouthwashes have a drying property, so make sure to avoid it if you are susceptible to dry mouth. And there are some patients that are concerned about the link between alcoholic mouthwashes and oral cancer. Currently, the American Dental Association states that the current research has failed to find an association between oral cancer and alcoholic mouthwashes. So I hope this video helps guide your decision in choosing which mouthwash works best for you. In the description box down below, I have a variety of products that I recommend to my patients. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video and I will see you for the next one.